I'm Shraddha Bansore. I'm from India and I'm currently doing my master's degree in fine arts at Prague College. My project, it started with just focusing on the everyday plastic as a problem. I, growing up in, in India and in Pune, I saw a lot of cows on the streets and I would just like ride past them. They were part of the traffic. You just maneuver yourself around them. But I never gave it a second thought. And when I was going to this NGO, uh, close to my home with this puppy I had rescued and over there they had some cases of cows that were eating plastic and I mean I had seen them rummage through the the trash cans but I never looked at it like I never I just thought they were eating the food and not the other stuff that was in it but yeah like they were just accumulating all these bags inside and just bloating up and they would just die because of it because they would starve there was it was blocking everything inside and it was very painful for them and it was just weird to see how less people care about this animal so that's what drove me to start this project and I wanted to focus more on the relation between the animal and the material. It started with just with an instinct to just take a bag and start tearing it. We also eat with our hands and so there's a lot of that motion so I just instinctively started tearing the plastic and I was doing some experiments at that point with the oven and I just thought to iron it out and to see and it it gave a very leathery texture, which I really like because it kind of brought me closer to the animal and it kind of formed the connection with, with both of them. So yeah, so that's what I do. I tear them up and then I iron them and then I create them into this big textile, which I stitch to my skeleton. These texts are my memories growing up in India. And I found like this was a this work to capture like my culture, my childhood, and also to understand like where we stand and with the cows and our religion and politics. So like I thought this gives a better understanding to the environment. Many times I would lose sight of what my project was and like I had to keep pulling myself back to this event and back to the animal because I kept deviating from it a lot. So I think that was one of my big challenges to keep the animal present. And yeah, that's what I've been trying to do with these sculptures and even the sound that I'm creating to kind of give an experience of what it's like inside their stomach with all the process and the plastic. So it's kind of like something I imagined it would sound like. Yeah, and then it's just first time I'm working with sculptures. Like I come from a background of design, of a bit of architecture, and but I've never actually exhibited anything or created a, a sculpture like this. So I think like having that in a big space and knowing how to put it up. So yeah, that was a challenge. Yeah, it would be really great if you guys could come see our exhibition Reshape on the 25th of June.